welcome to this week's Dean Culture. This week I want, hey, down here, big guy. Hey, this week I want to talk to you about concrete. Now, concrete hardens because of a process called hydration. And what happens is you have this Portland cement mix and you put it in water. Well, here's what happens when the water and the cement mix come together. So the grains of the cement mix, on the outside of each grain, they start to form these, these, uh, these particles, this outer coating, and it keeps expanding and expanding and expanding. It eventually fills up and take up, takes up all the space. So that's the hydration process, which is a chemical process which generates a little heat. Now, to the degree that the particles expand and take up all that room, well, that's called setting, and that determines how strong the concrete actually is. Well, there's kind of concrete that we just looked at here on the ground, and this was poured, and then it sets in place. But there's also something called a precast product, and you've seen these around when they put up those big warehouses and they tilt the walls, stand them from the ground. Those walls are all pre-made in a factory. Um, catch basins, um, some architectural products, uh, wall panels, uh, the bases for uh, light poles, those concrete, those are all called precast products made in a factory. Well, they figured out how, with the use of steam, our favorite thing, to speed up the, uh, the setting process. Now, I said it's a chemical reaction, so there's a certain amount of heat that happens during the hydration process. Well, they found out that when you add heat, you actually can speed up that process. They can create a faster product to get to market. They can also create a stronger product because they sort of uh, make that setting process happen just a little bit more effectively so that the products are stronger. So the steam process, as I found out, varies from product to product. Sometimes they will uh, throw the product on the floor, drape it with a canopy, and just apply steam. Sometimes they actually have a, uh, you know, a cabinet or an actual um, place to put the product in, close the door, like almost like an autoclave, apply the steam to it. Times and steam pressure and temperature all vary by the needs of the product. But either way, I didn't know that steam would have been used to set concrete, but it is. So I hope that was interesting to you, it was interesting to me. Go out and look at uh, steam curing of concrete out there on the Google, out there on the interweb. While you're there, look at us because you know we have content each and every week. But you know me, I'll be back here next week with something for you here on Steam Culture. Have a great weekend.